Hey everyone, Alan Crone here. Good morning. This is being posted shortly after 9 o'clock. We still have a slight mention that we could have an isolated shower or even a storm of the next hour, maybe the hour and a half from now. Uh, due to a small disturbance that's rotating across portions of northeastern Oklahoma. Last night, storms developed out in the western part of the state. And because of that development, uh, those storms helped uh, develop a small spin in the atmosphere, a convectively induced area of vorticity, and that's sliding across the I-44 area. It's, it's not impossible that we can see a shower storm. This morning we've seen uh, updrafts trying to take hold and they'll go up a little bit and fall down. So the odds are pretty low, but it's not zero. Then we get ready for tonight. Another opportunity for storms to develop. And the majority of these, again, would be to the west of us, basically. I mean, some northwest and some west southwest but basically away from is developing and this is the zone where most of them would end up being strong to severe with the uh, wind profile and the atmosphere and the thermal profile that we find today the primary threats would be some hail and downburst of wind with some wet microburst the tornado threat is very very low as storms try to cross over i-44 they may in fact even fall apart but there is a chance uh, tonight that some of those could be near the metro or south and east would be a lower probability. The best chance of all would be right along I-44 to the north and northwest, and that would be in the darker shade of green. This morning, again, for the next hour, we can't rule out an isolated storm, uh, but the odds are pretty low. Daytime highs upper 80s near 90. By 5 o'clock, notice storms are trying to develop to the west of us, but basically some of those could be severe. By 7, 8, 9 o'clock, some of those may take a run at the I-44 area. And again, it could be strong to severe. Then most of the model data actually weakens the storm activity as it tries to move into southeastern Oklahoma. So tomorrow morning will be in the 60s. And then what happens tomorrow regarding our storm chances will kind of depend on where any boundaries set up. Uh, there will be a disturbance moving overhead tomorrow afternoon. So we're keeping a rather healthy probability for Tuesday night and Wednesday morning at this point. That still may change. So 79 to 10 o'clock, humid weather. It's going to be breezy as well, 84 at noon. And a high today nearing 90 with a storm chance. Now, again, the next hour or two, an isolated storm is a possibility. But the 30% chance is going to be mainly tonight. Tomorrow, a high of 85 south wind. 40% chance is Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. As we get into Thursday and Friday, uh, Mid-level ridging starts to build back in across part of our area. That should limit the possibilities for us. So it's about a 20% chance Thursday, a 10% chance Friday and Saturday. And then a front would be nearing the area by early Sunday morning with an opportunity for more scattered showers and storms. That's the quick update. Stacia has more at midday. And for the very latest weather updates, text the phrase 6CONNECT to 79640. Have a good day.